Welcome back to the Talkaholics Podcast. This is Iman. And Razia. So today is, um, as usual, we're going to just talk about travel because <laughs> that seems to be all That's we do. Why you're here. <laughs> I mean, not that it's a bad thing, but I, I'm sure people are tired of us. But I don't care. <laughs> so we both recently went on trips, not together, yeah. unfortunately. No, that will come one day. One day. But separately at separate times. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought it would be a good idea to kind of share our experiences in the cities that we visited. Yeah. And then also we're going to hit some packing tips slash travel essentials. Yeah. So, Razia, why don't you go first? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned this in a previous podcast, but I did go to San Fran for the first time. Um, and Cali in general. I've never been. Um, Love California. Yeah. Yeah, because you've been there. Yeah. Cali. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, I was super excited for this trip. Like, I'd done a lot of planning for this, and it's one of those trips where I had the time to put an itinerary together and really talk through it because I have family there, so I someone to kind of bounce ideas off of. Yeah. She's been around there, too, so it was, um, again, like, a lot of planning, a lot of good stuff. Overall, like, a really, really fun trip. Like, I, I managed to see parts of L.A. Yeah. Um, but oh, yeah, I saw on your, your yeah. stories. I was like, hey, she's in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it, it was, I think I really, really like... Um, like San Fran closer to the pier area I think was like my Ooh. overall like favorite spot there um, okay I'm trying not to like r- I'm really trying to constrict myself because there's 30 minutes and you want to talk so we're I think, really try, trying not to ramble guys because yeah. that's what we do yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, so and another thing is too like my a lot of my coworkers were following my stories and stuff and they could tell like how much of it was food related mm-hmm. and that's because I had two different lists of places in oh my God. that's also a good <laughs> tip especially like if you're like Razia and eat anything yeah. and everything because you're not yeah. picky like I am <laughs> um, that's definitely yeah. something you need to do you when you travel to, yeah um, and like and I should also mention like another reason I was there is because my nephew has since like moved there and yeah. it was his birthday during that week and that was so cute I saw the video when he yeah. said he had the flowers for yeah. you at the airport <laughs> you know it was crazy okay what? so I never told him like I, I yeah because I remember you told me you, yeah. it was gonna be a surprise and you were gonna exactly. surprise him exactly and I said I told like his parents like my my brother and his wife like I was like don't tell him I want to surprise him it's his birthday like I want to make sure he has his family around him for this birthday and. So I was gonna just I was just gonna be like bring him to the airport don't say anything, right? And so in the morning, um, like my sister in law woke him up and they're like okay we're going to the airport let's go we gotta you know pick someone up, and then he's like yeah I know Raziante's coming this morning, and they're like both of them are like <laughs> like it was since what like this like four year old giving sass to them like that they're like how did you what he's like yeah I know. Like, he's just, matter of factly, like, whatever. Like I swear to you, like, kids have some sort of sixth sense. It's weird. It's I don't so know. weird. And I, my only thing that I can think of, because, again, like, nobody told me. Yeah. Everyone was really good about keeping it hushed. Is that probably through some, like, video call that my sister-in-law was having? Or somebody was on the phone. And he, like, overheard they, they it. They my name or, like, a flight yeah. or something. And he put things together yeah. and realized. Or maybe right? he had a dream or something. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> kids, man, they're crazy. I was like, whoa, Zach, okay. Because when he came with flowers, I'm like, oh, but then he, like, he knows knew. I was yeah. coming. So I, it, was just, it was just so funny. And he was, like, really shy at first when we saw each other in the airport. Because, like, he changed and I changed a little bit. Like, you know, yeah. he's taller now. He looks like a full-grown boy. All that baby face. Yeah, like, yeah. So all gone. He's all big now. Um. But yeah, it was it was really fun like to spend his birthday and stuff with him on patrol. Nice. Like, he was like all about that. He was very happy. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, and but like overall, like San Fran was is beautiful. Like the weather there was really really good while I was there. Yeah, I do, um, I still want to visit. I want to visit so bad. Yeah, it's stunning. Mainly because of that's a raven, but like also <laughs> <laughs> that too because it's a great city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like uh, everything I've heard about San Fran when people talk about it is that it's like a very artsy culture. Like mm-hmm. it's kind of like Portland where there's like a lot of like hipster indie people. Who mm-hmm. just like vibe there? Very uh, expensive city too. That too. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like living expenses there. That's like a whole other topic. Yeah. I learned when I was there. I was like mm-hmm. that cost that much. Mm-hmm. Like. Whew. Okay. But um. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. So definitely like the arts and culture vibe thing there was so clear. Like it's just within like how the city is built. So I'm talking like the area, Fisherman Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf, I think is what it's called. And then there's like a Pier Thirty Nine. Because there's like a there's like around across like the. The waterfront, there's, yeah. like, several piers that line up, but there's oh. one pier number that's, like, m- more famous than the rest, and it has, like, <laughs> this huge 
marketplace. So it's like the most little, oh, that's cool. gorgeous, quaint little thing. And like a, a lot of random knickknack stores. So if you think of like, um, what's that famous street that's on uh, Niagara Falls area? With like all those like I can't remember what it's called, but I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the one that goes straight uphill? Yeah, yeah. Has like the random yeah, shop. It's like on. that, but like imagine on a pier with like really cute like wooden Stalls walkways and, stuff. and like yeah, it's that's like, cool. Yeah, and it's kind of sailor themed, and there's like a lot of like greenery around. Like it, it was a really nice space, very touristy but very mm-hmm. cute. Um, and like the food again, like I'm big on seafood. Probably see, yeah, I was about to say like the seafood because you're near the water, right? Yeah, I was like really really happy. Uh, can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really so happy. what was like your f- favorite favorite yeah. part of the trip? Thank you for that segue. Okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay. So it's actually so Golden Great Bridge. Obviously, like the view that you get from that lookout point, stunning. Like there's nothing like it. Where you can not only see Golden Great Bridge, but there's several other bridges that are in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. There's one called Bay Bridge that's like this most beautiful like silver looking. Like it looks like a silver necklace from far away. Like it's that shiny Ooh. and it's just like yeah, it's stunning. It, especially closer to nighttime like it really sparkles it's really nice um but for me there was this place that i'd found on google actually that a lot of people don't know it exists in san fran like anyone i've talked to who's, who's already been there don't yeah. even know that this place exists okay it was on my that it's that beautiful little rome looking thing oh. on my instagram yeah. called um it's called palace of fine arts it's basically this huge like architecture structure in the middle of this park and it, there's like just some garden around it, but that's really it. It's just Whoa. like a, a cute little space. I guess people take wedding pictures there. Oh. Um, not too far from like the pier area either, but like gorgeous. Like when you walk in there, like the, the columns are properly tall. Like you feel like they're intimidating, but it's gorgeous. We went like closer to night, so everything was lit per- like beautifully. Oh, that's um, nice. Like something about like that space and like how it's echoey when you're in the middle of it is mm. so, so fun. Um, so I really, really recommend Palace of Fine Arts. Um, again, that Puri area was like a huge thing to me. I went to in, in LA. Like the real yeah. main reason I went there is because I'm a huge Oscars fan. Like I, I saw that you got to go into the stage. And yeah, stuff. that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So Dolby theaters where all the Oscars get held. Um, sometimes there's the TC, TCL Chinese theaters next to it. Too, yeah, which yeah. Some of them get hosted there too, but mainly it's in Dolby. Um, stunning. Like it was so. It was a different thing. So like. <laughs> when we started the tour, um, like she's just talking about the Oscars history and like showing these pictures of previous like Oscar winners and kind of going through it, and then until the point where she like opened the doors to the mm-hmm. theaters when like it hit me and I was like, this is like the place I've been l- looking at on yeah. TV for years. Like it was another thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no. It just opened up and like the ceiling <laughs> just went on forever and you're just like, there's so many seats. This is so intimidating. It's like all your favorite actors and actresses have sat in these I know. I sat down. I swear to you, I sat down in that theater first row. I was like, somebody famous sat in this. Somebody did. I just like squished my butt and there was like, no, I have to like enjoy this. It was like another thing because like they showed us like the seating area, but then we also went on the stage. But it's like another thing just with the seats being empty. I was like this being filled and having to talk on stage I'd be like forget it I don't need this like this is just <laughs> overwhelming that's awesome though. Yeah. that was that probably was amazing yeah it was surreal for me because like anyone who knows me even like in my personal life knows that like my yeah. family treats the Oscars as like the Super Bowl so it's like <laughs> really important to me that's amazing though because next yeah. time when you watch the next Oscars you'll be like I was there yeah yeah <laughs> and then like they went through like they, the tour was really like thorough like it went through like the set design stuff like how they make the stage look completely different mm-hmm. for different award shows I think America's Got Talent got hosted there like the finale got oh. hosted there or something so they showed how they put in the you know the judges table they had to remove chairs in the middle of the theater to put the big huge you know mm-hmm. where they sat and stuff like that it was like really 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 neat um, and like my nephew was there the whole time he somehow was entertained by everything he like did it he was he listened like he stood there and listened to that's the, awesome the tour lady the entire time wow but yeah which I was like um, aren't you supposed to be like bored I expected him to like be running all over but he was just really happy to be there so those are like my main highlights we went to a lot of places so like kind of yeah yeah squish it down but in terms of food my like ultimate recommendation I did hot pot for the first time in, in San Fran. How did that go? I've seen it on YouTube so many times. I watch so many food related things on yeah. YouTube. So for me to like actually do hot pot yeah. in somewhere, yeah. that's how all. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Honestly, because we don't have that here in no, Toronto. It's we don't. so annoying. It's hard to find anything here like that or even cur- Korean, Korean barbecue. barbecue yeah. Any of that. I've right? Googled it and it does not oh show my up. God. The nearest one is in New oh York. Like, <laughs> don't say that to me. Actually, it's so sad. Um, 
So obviously I jumped out of the opportunity. It's called the the old it's called the old Mandarin Islamic restaurant. It's like literally Interesting. it's literally that. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. And it was just again a little bit of culture shock because like it's just like it looks like a regular Chinese restaurant. You walk in and they say salam to you and you're like hi. You're like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you're like okay. <laughs> and like yeah, and like the hot pot was really like, amazing. Like the way so anyone who doesn't know how hot pot works is basically like this boiling soup that's in front of you, which the soup itself, the broth, is like delicious. They d- get you to decide what vegetables you want in it, so like things like cabbage or like bean sprouts, whatever. They throw it in, they cook for a little bit, but the, the pot is actually very, it's very hot. hot. Yes. <laughs> so you get like strips of meat or like meats of your choice, so we got beef, and you basically like dip it in like three times, like a second each, and it cooked. Really, like fully through, like fully through. So it'll look like it'll look raw. It comes to you raw, not cooked. Yeah, just yeah. Cut. Like that, you know, That's red, red and white color. Yeah. That you see, and then you dip it in into brown, like by the third time. Yeah. That's crazy. That's how hot it is. And then you you have it with the broth, or you just eat it straight. Or you just, just eat it by it's itself. Just a, it's just a beef, right? Or with a vegetable, however you want to, right? And they give you like dippings and stuff. So like soy sauce and like other yeah. special sauces. That's they have interesting. On their side. Yeah, it was like it was amazing. It was really it tasted so so good. Cool. And yeah, it has like amazing ratings. Like it's been reviewed all over the place. So was it really busy? Not the time that we went. Okay. We went pretty late, like closer to the closing time. Oh okay. But you can tell like that the even like the staff there are really nice. Like you can tell it's like a properly family run business. So yeah. I would like highly, highly, highly recommend that. Place. That's it was cool. like I just did it not want to leave. Like we stayed there for so long. <laughs> I was so happy. Um and yeah, like I, I I would say, I would say like I think San Fran I think for me I felt more comfortable just because of like the weather was not that extremely hot and stuff but when I went to LA to be frank we were there like two days before the fire had started that's oh happening my God. now so you can imagine how yeah, hot it the, was while the, we were the there. heat wave in in LA is crazy it's like ridiculous. they're still experiencing like. 20 30 degree weather yeah and it's november yeah <laughs> like, i know and while we were there believe me Iman, like we were exhausted and like i mean it's normal for, for la to be warm, so warm all the time I like know. but this is i think a different level it yeah it was so it was so so scorching and like it we, like every day we were walking a lot but it was like another thing to try to take advantage of our time in la when it was that hot do you know what i'm saying you yeah hard faster and i just Really, I couldn't do it. Like I felt like the concrete was just baking me. Alive. Yeah, like, like I have a I have a couple friends in L A or in like L A region, mm-hmm. and like whenever I see their stories on Instagram and they have the little temperature tag, and I'm like, excuse me, what do you mean it's 85 or 90 degrees, yeah. 100 degrees I'm Fahrenheit, guys? Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm just like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're out here in Toronto. We're almost like you know feeling the not the negatives yet, but like it's getting pretty cold. Yeah. Like yesterday was so cold. <laughs> No, I know, and it, it was just, like, yeah. Oh, oh, and another thing that, like, kept happening, too, I'll just wrap this up really yeah. quickly before we talk about Vancouver, um, is that uh, a lot of things, especially within the beginning half of our trip, a lot of serendipitous things kind of happened. Like, yeah. You know, like, you know, like, just luck of having been there mm-hmm. at, at the time, time yeah. kind of thing. So, like, the first restaurant we went to was one that I'd wanted to go to. It's an Italian restaurant called Scoma's. And it's, it's this beautiful restaurant that's on the water. Like, it's by the pier area again. But it's, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's a restaurant that's, like, against, like, a boardwalk, but it's on the water, technically. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, yeah, it's yes, one yes. of those beautiful re- yeah. from the outside. Um, and just to have, like, it's just highly rated there. It's, like, known for San Fran native food. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was like, really beautiful on the inside. A lot like Scatterbush interior. Like, ah, this, like, old okay. grandma Italian yeah, yeah, mother yeah. kind of vibe. <laughs> so cute. Um, and while we were there, like, there was someone who... Um, I could see from afar. This guy started to get down on one knee and started facing his girlfriend, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I've never, I've never experienced this before. I've never been in a room where someone's been proposed to before. Oh my god, that's amazing! Did she, you say yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, she, was, she was like, she was like already like yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it was like she yeah. knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, they yeah. were around their family too, so I think oh, it was a little plan. Oh, that's but so like, cute. Yeah, so I, all of us, were, I was just like, you could imagine me like someone who's like already so happy, like rom com lover, like kind of thing. I was just like so excited. Like, this is my moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I love this. I've never like, been. I'm around. not getting proposed to, but this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been around like that kind of a moment before. So yeah. I was like, I was like clapping. My nephew was confused. He's like, what, What's happening? Why are we ca- clapping ram- randomly? But they seemed really happy. Oh, really that's cute. nice. So overall, it was a good trip. Yeah, like a lot of things like that happen yeah. at different like stores or places that we visit or people we talk to. Of like, oh, okay, like, and then you just have a yeah. laugh and it's fine. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Now I'm here. 
all about Vancouver. Okay. It's another place also on my list, and you're hyping it up, so I love oh it. Oh my god. Okay, so yes, I did go to Vancouver. I was there over Thanksgiving weekend, Canadian yeah. Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, important to important to, <laughs> to know because I mean, it's not the future. Uh, well, depending on when this episode comes out, it might be the past. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I went because uh, my friend Lamise, um moved there with her husband Mm -hmm. in August and as you guys know I was gone for the summer in Budapest so like she literally left Canada left Canada she's still in Canada (laughs) she left Toronto to Vancouver like three or four days before I came back from my trip and I was like how dare you oh my god (laughs) because I didn't get to see her um so the only time basically the last time I saw her was when I the day before I left for my trip which was when did I leave Early July. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw her early July, and she left um, August 19th, and I came back home August 23rd, I believe, mm. or 21st. Can't remember. Wow, it's my memory. Yeah, don't ask me. Anyways, my so, so I was like, well... Sorry, this old man just looked into the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, like, I was like, you know what? She's moving, and I didn't get to see her this whole summer. And I was right. like, you know what? I, I even though I'm just coming back from a trip, I need to go visit her in Vancouver before the weather gets really bad. Right. This is before I knew that Vancouver didn't get snow. By right. the way, right, 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 right. <laughs> anyways, so I was like, yes. yeah, I want to visit her. And I was like, you know, it's gonna be a little oh, birthday okay. gift to myself. Yeah. Um, and I'll just buy myself a trip to, <laughs> to Vancouver. Yeah, it's a little expensive gift, but it's like a little gift to myself for my for my birthday. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I went to Vancouver and I went with my other friend Efra, and it was so much fun. First of all, we were so lucky because like October onwards is like rainy season for Vancouver. Okay. It's like always raining in Vancouver. Okay. Because it's like Seattle. Yeah. Um. So when we went, it didn't rain like at all, mm. except for maybe one day in the morning for a couple of hours. But the wow. entire time we were there, it was sunny, so a little lovely. chilly, but like sunny, nice, cl- yeah. clear skies, yeah. and it was just beautiful. Like yeah. there was just like green forests, <laughs> trees, yeah. the yeah. water, and so basically what we did was um, something I like to do whenever I travel is use the public transportation to mm-hmm. kind of see how like locals live and tr- like exactly. you know navigate yeah. and stuff like that. So when we came from the airport, mm-hmm. um, their transit system is really cool where they have their subway line goes straight into the airport. Okay. So we we took um, the subway, which they call the Canada Line, I believe, or something like that. Okay. Um, we took the subway straight to a waterfront station, which is in Gastown, which is downtown. Okay. And so we only took one train to get right into downtown. And then from downtown, we had her... So Lamise's husband, Khalid, came and met us, met us, and he picked us up from there because like, Lamise is like, you guys are going to get lost. So uh. he, he met us there, and then we took a sea bus, okay. which is the one that takes you across the water because they live in North Vancouver. Oh, um, they don't live in the downtown area. Yeah. So we took the sea bus across the water to get to North Van, and then from the sea bus, we took another bus to get to their their uh, their condo. But And then in their condo, we had a guest suite, so it was cool. Yeah, nice. um, but it was, like, really cool to see the different modes of transportation. Um, it was so nice to go across the water. Oh, my God, loved it. Yeah. Um, but I, let me just quickly say my highlights because yes. I know I'm just going to ramble forever. So <laughs> I'm, like, here already going. I miss yeah. things. I'm transportation excited. was so cool. Um, our So on our first night there, we, like, settled in and stuff. Um, we went back to downtown um, in Gastown, and we went and ate at this place called the Old Spaghetti Factory, mm. and it was really cool because... It's famous in, in, in the U.S., actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, because it was, it was really cool because when we went in, we were lucky to get seated because it's, like, it's a big restaurant, yeah. but then they have, like, this little section of the restaurant that has, like, a train cart. Okay. Inside, nice. and then there's tables inside the train cart oh, to dine I in, and so we were so stuff. lucky because we got to sit in the train cart yeah. and then dine in the train cart, and yeah. then also they're prices were ridiculously great like it was like $16 and you got like a five course meal it was amazing yeah amazing it was like it was great (laughs) we were like whoa this is amazing so we had a great dinner there we walked around gas town you know kind of got to see the feel of downtown and like it's very much still like downtown like a city but less hectic I found okay definitely less hectic and it feels more Yorkville is it just more organized like just yeah, it, it feels more of like a, you know, like Yorkville, like Bloor Young kind yes, of area where it's yeah. like high end stores and right. like okay, there's nice okay, lights yes, up yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, it feels yeah. more like that, but okay, it's downtown. Love. <laughs> yeah. So it was really cute. Um, and then our second day there, um, or it was like our first full day there, we we biked around what they call the seawall. So it's this huge like track around the entire 
like around the water mm. uh, basically that's in the city yeah. and it's like I don't even know how much kilometers it is but it took us an hour and a half to bike around the entire thing like going yeah. at a, a moderate pace yeah it was so beautiful like you could either walk the trail or bike the trail so we rented bikes and I was so scared because I hadn't ridden bikes since that last time I almost got hit by a car in the Netherlands so oh my god <laughs> so, oh my god. so I made sure PTSD from that. yes so I made sure with the person that was renting the bike out to us I was like hey I need my feet to be able to touch the ground and right. luckily I was able to do that right. um <laughs> so yeah we biked around the seawall and it was Love really it. nice you got to see like the city from different uh, like perspectives around the right. around the water, so you would, like sometimes yeah. you'd be looking at the mountains, or you would be looking at the city, yeah. and like it I'm was really so happy you did that. I was beautiful. Like, did the bike or hike thing? Oh my god, yeah. I love it. Um, we didn't really get to do much of much hiking. Yeah, we didn't really get to do much hiking, um, but we like we definitely did walk a lot. Um, so the seawall was one thing that was really great. And then um, we went to this ramen place after that that was right by there. That was pretty cool. And they they only had, like, one vegetarian option. <laughs> but yeah, it was really ramen places, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was great. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we just walked around the area, and it was really nice. Um, uh, since we were there for Thanksgiving weekend, yeah. so Lamise's coworkers had, like, a friend Friendsgiving yeah. lunch. That's and so... Fun. Since we were there, her friend like invited us over, and we were like, "Oh, okay, cool." Uh, so, sweet. so we ended up having lunch at her house on um, that the next the Sunday. Yeah. And she, her friend, lives in this place called Deep Cove, mm. and so um, we knew that there was while we were in Deep Cove, there was an area called Deep Cove kayaking, and mm. so you can kayak like the water um, that surrounds the islands and stuff like that in that area. And so people were like, hey, let's do that because we're going to be in the same area. Yeah. So we ended up going kayaking for two hours. It was so, Holy I have so many cool videos. It was, I, like, because I've been kayaking, I think, like, once or twice. I think but, once. Um, it's not, nothing, like, like really special. Yeah. But being <laughs> like, on the water it's in Toronto, is, like, another It's thing. great, but, yeah. like, you know, Toronto, it's not like the, the I have never kayaked the harbor, because harbor, I would love no, to do harbor front. That, that would yeah. be a great view. Yeah. But the ones I've done tended to be, like, in parks. Yeah. Stuff like that. So anyway, so we did it in Deep Cove, and it was so beautiful. Like the mountains, it was a like it was really overcast that morning. So um, it was like there was like fog that surrounded the oh, mountains, wow. and we got to kayak up to like a- along people because like there's a lot of rich people in Vancouver because it's so freaking expensive to live there. Yeah. So like all the ha- the houses that like, line the water are these really nice houses that are kind of like built into the you know into that kind of mm-hmm. landscape, and then there's yeah. like private islands. Um, that around there so we got to kayak all of that it was so cool um, we got really wet though yeah. <laughs> so we have to go back to her oh. place to change before we can go to her <laughs> friend's place but oh. definitely recommend that deep cove kayaking yeah. it was really great people were really nice too and it was relatively um, affordable it was like okay. I think it was like 40-ish dollars for two yeah. hours which okay. is not bad yeah 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 um, so that was great, and then we went to her friend's place for the friend's giving, and then Lamis like, didn't tell me that her friend had a dog until, like, oh. we were on our way there, and I was like, yo, you... Did you pet it? Do you not... I you do petting? not... Listen, I have been chased by so many dogs oh in my God. lifetime. Yo, that I'm would terrified of dogs. Like yeah, but she yeah. was like, don't worry, like, he's really well-behaved, apparently, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't a big dog either. He was okay. a mix of a pug and a Frenchie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he was, like, medium-sized. Yeah, yeah. Um... But, Razia, we got to her the, apartment. They straight to the door. Dogs we got to her yeah. apartment. We knock yes, on the door. Either. And her one of the other friends, like, opened the door. And this dog comes running out <laughs> and jumps on us. I was, like, I was literally standing. I was frozen in fear. I was, like, <laughs> oh, no. Because like, you could feel his little claws on you. And I was, like, ah. Um, but, like, after a while, like, after you get through the <laughs> trauma of being, <laughs> of being jumped on by yeah. this animal. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, my, I, my heartbeat calmed down a little because he was, he was yeah. just really excited because we were all like new to him. Yeah. So he was just like, we were sitting on the couch and he would jump along us and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I just made sure he didn't lick me. Right. But then I was like, okay, you're kind of cool. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but I also found out the day that I'm allergic to dogs. So. <laughs> Are you really? How did you find yeah. out? Because oh, no. I, like, within the hour of being there, not even, like, my eyes were so itchy and red, and, like, no. my nose was stuffed, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely allergic <laughs> to Oh, dogs. my God. Um, but it was an overall great time. Oh, like, my God, it feels so bad. We all cooked something and brought it, okay, and, like, good. we got to meet her work friends, which is really nice, and they were all really cool people. Nice. Um, uh, Lamise is a teacher, by the way, so, like, they're all yeah. teachers, and it was nice to to kind of see who she's hanging out with, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a view into her <laughs> So, world. yeah, that was great. And then, um, what did we do on my last day there? 
can't remember. We did a lot of walking. Oh, we went to this. The okay. So basically, there's uh, Vancouver is really um, famous for the suspension bridge, right? Okay. So there's the Capilano suspension bridge, and then there's another bridge called the Lynn Valley. Um, park suspension bridge. The Capilano suspension bridge is where everybody goes. It's a big tourist attraction and it's a trap. Guys, do not go unless you want to spend 50 something dollars to get to in. To walk on a bridge? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. 50 something dollars to get into the Capilano suspension bridge, whatever Area. it is. Yeah. That's insane. We Because that's where we were going to go. Yeah. And I remember hearing that it cost like money, mm-hmm. but I thought it was like 20 ish. Yeah. And I was still, at that point, I was like, hmm, that's a little bit much. Yeah. Like, why am I going to spend that much money for a bridge? Yeah. But everybody wanted to really go. Like, well, yeah. So I was like, fine. So we were like, fine, let's go. We went, and we saw the admission price was 50 something dollars for adults. I said, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then Lomis was like, oh, there's another bridge. It's free. It's called the Lynn Park, okay, um, yeah. Lynn Valley Park Suspension Bridge. So yeah. we went there. It was completely free. It's just like an open park. Mm. And it was so nice like mm. it's this really cool suspension bridge so it's like over some water and um you're surrounded by like these really really tall trees and it, it was really cool i got a lot of pictures in there yeah, yeah, yeah um so that was a really cool experience and then overall like we had fun yeah. like it was it was like you're in the city but like a little, still little escape to it yeah it's an escape yeah, yeah you're you're kind of, it's kind of an escape from the city especially like toronto traffic and just like the congestion yeah. of the people here like yeah, yeah like yeah. you know I always love my city whatever yeah. but you know it's really like congested and really full all the time like yeah. I feel like everywhere I go there's traffic and there's you know there's always buses yeah. are always full it's like yeah. ah can you give me some space yeah. Yeah. and that's I got my space in Vancouver it was nice. great Amazing. <laughs> so yeah I definitely recommend anybody to go visit Vancouver yeah. if you do go to Vancouver you have to check out you have to check out be bougie for one day and check out the savory <laughs> pie company Ooh. savory island pie company i already love the sound of that they make pies. artisan pies so you already know they're going to yeah. be expensive as hell yeah. Yeah. um but their lemon buttermilk pie with Fuck. with berries i have never tasted a pie so good in my entire <laughs> life that like sounds amazing. and you know what's funny is like um when we got to their condo the first day holland was like Oh, oh yeah, we have like we have this really really good pie and we like save some for you guys so you guys can try it out. So you're we like, "Okay, let's try it out." And our lives were changed forever. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, "How dare why did you do this to us?" Cuz now cuz then we bought a whole freaking pie. Like, yeah. like we me and Afro were like, "We're buying another pie and we're going to eat some more pie." So and I was even debating like bringing some with me. Yeah, home. yeah, because cuz it's so good. Oh, um man. but it was $35. A pie. A pie. So I mean that it, that's that's a bougie pie. So, so, but if yeah, it's that good, pie. come on. But it was great. You have to at least try it once. Yeah. You know. But overall, Vancouver was great, and I had so much fun. And I always tell everybody who asks me that I'm gonna go live there for a couple years, yes. and they're always my friends are like, "No, you're not." And I'm like, "Watch me. I'm gonna go live there for a couple years. <laughs> wait, <laughs> just wait." But um, I think I talked enough. So yeah, oh, yeah. There, there's just a few things I want to like because as you're talking, I'm like yeah. I'm forgetting things definitely that are like super super important. To the trip okay first and foremost because she listens to the podcast literally one of our most loyal listeners miss oh yeah um, you met up with I, was, I met up with her because she moved there one, like one of my closest friends from high school she lives there uh, for the past two years or something mm-hmm. it's been a while or a year something she's been there for a while yeah um she resides um, a little farther away from San Fran, but I did the drive or Ubered it. I didn't, really, <laughs> I didn't drive anywhere, but, yeah. you know. Um, I got there, and she's so sweet. So, like, she, I spent the whole day with her. I got there pretty early. Um, she took me to a few of her favorite places. Like, she showed me around. I had no idea where I was being taken. I was like, take me. Like, just whatever you want to do with me, fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, she invited the rest of my family to her place for dinner. And oh, she cooked. Like, she cooked, oh, like, so nice. the most amazing. I know Miss Muckin cooked. I've tasted her stuff before. Yeah. But, like, she outdid herself. Like, she cooked <laughs> two whole chickens. That, or, like, Damn. Like, like, Thanksgiving style. Like, they had herbs and shit all over it. And oh, I was wow. Like, I just can't. Oh, what is happening? That's so nice of her, <laughs> You though. did so much. <laughs> I felt so bad. Um, but... Yeah, it was am- like one of the places she took me to that I two places actually. I think it was called the U- University of Santa Clara. There is like an outdoor park outside of the university that is like beautiful and it and it's I think rooted in history of like um, with Spanish culture. Like cuz mm. the all- architecture I can kind of tell. I was like this is a little more European than anything I've yeah. seen there. Um stunning little courtyard, like the cutest little like church in the middle of nowhere. There's there too, like a fountain like 
palm trees like that are like just gorgeous beyond belief. Like, yeah. this, it's just a really nice park that she like took me through. Obviously got good pictures there too. So it's like <laughs> lovely. Um, so, so beautiful. But the place she took me that I was like, yes, Mizzle, this is so cool. It's, it's just this like one street full of like plazas and again, different bougie mm-hmm. um, uh, stores and stuff. It's called Santana Row. Okay. It's just a boulevard that's just beautiful. I feel like I've heard of that before. I don't know why. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just a really pretty like street to walk on. Yeah. And it's just all these like high end stores that like I barely can afford shit in. But it was just I, I don't know, it's just the way like the the streets were laid out, a lot of greenery. Like yeah. it was just it was just stunning, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, I got some souvenirs from there though. Stunning. So thanks, Ms. Ba. I know you listen to this, so I had Shout to Shout out to you, Ms. Ba. If I didn't include that, I would have gotten <laughs> so many death threats on my laptop. Um, but that, um, there's a place too that like, it, it like nearly bought, like beat out Palace of Fine Arts for me called, it's a chocolate factory that I went to. Uh, it's called Girardelli oh Square. Oh my God. Love you know Girardelli. That. Like the yes. thing is, is like, you hear the name, you don't know what that brand is. You'll see the logo. No, no, you know, 100%. You know I can Girardelli. think of the brand. I can think of the logo. Yeah, right now. it's a pretty famous chocolate brand. There's a chocolate factory there, which when I looked it up, thought, okay, we're going to walk in. It's going to look like a Lindor kind of yeah. layout. You just pick your chocolate, you buy whatever. Yeah. No, it's bigger, much bigger than that. <laughs> it's that Lindor space plus, like, a outdoor courtyard with a bunch of tables, fairy lights, with a band playing, mm-hmm. with other restaurants within that square. It's a, it's a legitimate square. Yeah. Like it's like a full, nice, um, like very minimalist like layout of beautiful places to sit and do like study. If I if I lived in that area, I'd be like, no, I'm just. It's like I said, watching I'm people. just. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's just a really nice place. Like if I lived there, I would yeah. go there to study because you don't have to like pay to enter anything. You just have to pay for that. That's cool. Chocolate, basically, wow. Um, really, really recommend your Delhi Square. Like it was a really pretty place. Um, I went to this place called the Karmic Art Museum as well, which is like this is a tiniest like mm-hmm. little shop. It doesn't even look like they're a museum from the outside, but like just the comics history that's within it and like the authentic kind of little stills and stuff yeah. and little strips of comics that they have within there. There's a little library too that you can sit oh, and nice. just read in, which is so cute. Um, really recommend that. And then, yeah, when I came home, I came home to a new niece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, which is like also kind of big news. That, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So like a lot of a lot of things are happening that we can imagine. I was just like, ah, oh, <laughs> it's too much. Um, but yeah, I have, a, I have a new niece. Her name is Amara. She's a, she's a cutie. Yeah, she's, she's, the the, she's the smallest one out of my bunch of nieces, nieces and nephews. nephews yeah. She's like tiny. She's like, <gasps> so ja- like a little bit over five pounds. She's like that light. Oh wow! Yeah, she's 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 so frail and but she's like very attentive. She, you know, listens to you when you talk, but it's like intense eye contact. It's like because her eyes are so big, you're just yeah. like, please stop <laughs> looking at so me. Much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, things are good. Like I recommend San Fran. I would go to LA only if you have like. In, in co- like complete interest in the entertainment business, like mm-hmm. especially for the Walk of Fame, you see a lot of names and things like Muhammad Ali's star. That's on the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. Definitely, yeah. Hollywood is definitely for those who are in, interested yes. in all things Hollywood. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, w- I wouldn't make the trek there if if it wasn't something like the things that that area is known for. I like we mm-hmm. just go to San Fran just because that's a lot more of like a chill vibe. So yeah. yeah. I think we both had good experiences. This is basically oh, yeah. the summary. <laughs> That's basically the summary. It was great. Go travel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're a little over time. Oh, However, course. we will quickly wrap up with recommendations yeah. for traveling um, yeah. effectively, yeah. Um, packing effectively, and like do little essentials. Do you want to do three items each or something? Then yeah. Wrap Let's okay. wrap it up quick. Yeah. Okay. So my first thing, biggest difference that I made when I was traveling this time is really you know, give a shit about my skincare because the thing is, is before I left, weather here obviously is getting a lot colder. We're mm-hmm. closer to winter season, so my skin is getting a lot drier faster. And I knew going there, it would be the flip opposite. Right? Yeah. So really hot. It doesn't rain there at all, so no moisture. I knew I was going to, like, look terrible in the pictures. <laughs> so I was like, I invested in two things from Lush, which honestly saved me, especially when I was in the airport, coming, like, oh my when God. you flying, after flying, a flight is nasty. Dry as your skin out so bad. Well, it was the worst. Um, two products, one called, um, I think it's called Angels on Bare Skin, you know, Lush. Wow. Names, okay? <laughs> I didn't name Sounds that. elite. <laughs> um, it's just a, uh, a face scrub. Mm-hmm. It's made with, like, almond stuff. Cool. It's, it smells beautiful, but it's, like, it does wonders on your skin like mm-hmm. that alone without moisturizer perfect like you're ready 
Um, and I just have like a like a lavender lavender moisturizer from there too. Both of those things together, like you, if you don't have time to put foundation on to do the whole works, like that does mm -hmm. enough for your skin. Um, another thing too, one thing I like, I don't, I tr I sleep a lot on flights because I get motion sickness like really mm. easily, and so for me to be awake is like actually terrible on a flight. Oh no! So I like to sleep through it as much as possible. Um, I don't carry around those like neck pillows neck pillows i find them really uncomfortable yeah but this time i i brought a lot of jackets with me to la and one of them was like a fur like a like a black fur jacket mm -hmm. um and actually using that as a pillow <laughs> like really served me because like it was it was something that looked nice in pictures but at yeah. the same time like i was really really comfortable <laughs> like I'm, i have to tell you like it makes a huge difference if you want to stay warm in a cold flight like, yeah get yourself a fur jacket it's really important um and it, actually, my third thing was going to be, like, the public transit thing. Like, make sure oh, you look yeah. at that stuff early on. Yes. Um, because the thing is, too, especially a lot of parts of the U.S. don't have frequent, yeah, proper, organized yeah, yeah, yeah. transportation like we They do really here. don't, no. Like, there's a stop right outside of my house that it comes every 10 minutes, and you, you can get to where you need to go. Yeah. So long as you wait that 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It'll come. Especially but California. Cali doesn't do that. California don't got <laughs> Cali don't doesn't got do that. that. You wait an hour yeah. <laughs> if you miss your bus. So make sure to look up their systems of transport early on if you want to get somewhere, especially because when I was staying with my sister-in-law, when my brother is at, was at work, like, you know, they have one car with yeah. them, so you have to make do, and you can't mm -hmm. take Uber everywhere necessarily. Yeah. It's expensive. Exactly. We're, we were also with the kid, so you get to take your car seat everywhere. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not efficient. So look up that stuff, and especially if you're going to the U.S., Sam Trans is not the most easily explained transit system even mm -hmm. on their app was like okay like you barely and we barely got to where we needed to go but yeah. that's because we looked at it and we looked into it but had we not we would have just been overing and that would have been yeah really nice. but yeah okay okay so for me um for me this trip mainly i was really proud of myself for my packing mm -hmm. um, because usually nice you, yeah. when i pack i just like I don't plan in advance. I just throw a whole bunch of clothes in there, and I'm like, I'm gonna figure out while I'm there, cause mm -hmm. like, I'm just like, I want to look cute, but I also want to be comfortable, and I want to yeah. have options. So I just throw a whole bunch of things in my suitcase, and then yeah. I end up taking like way more yeah. than I need, yeah. and I end up bringing a whole big suitcase with me, and then, and so when this, like for this trip, uh, specifically with Vancouver. It's not cheap to fly to Vancouver, unfortunately. Yeah. Even though we're in the same freaking country. No, traveling with um, Canada is really yeah. expensive. So uh, I have obviously flew with a budget airline. And mm -hmm. with budget airlines, they charge you for baggage, even right. if it's carry-on mm -hmm. baggage. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Um, the, I flew with Flair Airlines, okay. which is like a newer Canadian budget airline. Okay. And uh, so they charge you for checked baggage and carry-on baggage. Okay. Baggage. Baggage. Like, what is I saying? Baggage and baggage. <laughs> so... You could either pay thirty five dollars for each for a carry on or right. thirty dollars for a checked. Okay. And I was like, okay, I I'm only bringing my carry on sized bag, but I'm gonna pay five dollars less and check it. Right. So Makes sense. I paid for a check bag, but I told myself I'm not bringing a, a like an actual full size check bag yeah. because there's no way I need that much space and yeah. like that's unnecessary. Yeah. So I took my carry on bag, um, like luggage and. I may I what really really saved me was packing cubes. Packing mm. cubes are the way mm. to go. So these packing cubes are like um like portable little mesh yeah, zip up they're basically bags. Ziploc bags. Yeah, they're basically. like zip up bags but they're like mesh with plasticky bags, whatever. Yeah. And you can so then you like you fold up your clothes really tight and then they comp like they compress the amount of stuff you have yeah. and then that means you have more space in your luggage yeah. whether that be for more things or like you know if you buy things while you're on your travels and yeah. stuff like that so packing cubes really helped me I had so much more space in my luggage and yeah. and also helped me and that also this time I, I made sure to like look because only thing I was only going to be there four days mm. I was like I don't need to bring a whole bunch of stuff no. I brought like maybe two yeah. pair of pants that I can yeah. like rotate yeah. um and then a whole bunch of shirts and stuff that yeah. I could just put on top of the pants, like yeah, so I didn't, yeah. want, didn't want to deal with that. Yeah. And so I had like one packing cube for like my clothes, one packing cube for my hijabs, one packing cube for my skincare and everything. And that yeah. was like it. And I was like, this is great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, the, and shoes. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Shoes are not worth your space in your luggage. That was, that's another huge. huge you, thing. if you're going for a short trip, the space bring the one or two pairs of shoes at yeah. most, depending on what your situation is. Like, say, for example, you went to California. So maybe you can bring, no like, one sneakers and one pair of sandals because yeah. you know it's going to be hot. Exactly. For me in Vancouver, I knew it's going to be cool. I brought my sneakers and that's that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, that's all I need. And my yeah. sneakers were black. They went with everything. So yep. you got to be versatile that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, packing effectively is very important. 
Um, I, transportation is another thing that I would have mentioned. And then mm-hmm. my third thing would be do your research. I am a very like go with the flow kind of person. Mm-hmm. So um, I don't I don't really need to like plan out my entire trip. Like yeah. s- sometimes I'll make lists, but it's very rough. Like these are the things that I kind of would like to see. So if we can fit yeah. them in, that's great. Yeah. Um, but I never make like an itinerary because I feel like that restricts me too much and I just want to have an adventure. Yeah. But still definitely do your research regardless. Um, because you want to know like what's going on in the place that you're in like what's the history like what's you know what's its climate what are the like who lives there what are the people like um so just do like basic basic research it doesn't have to be yeah. in-depth research um but research is important so that yeah. you can so you don't miss out on something and then you find out about it later and you're like oh i wish i had done that because yeah. not you're not it's not always the case where you have locals living there and you can they can right. tell you what they know like sometimes you just got to figure it out for yourself so right. you know that's it third thing research yeah Okay, yeah. can I mention two others before we wrap up really quickly? <laughs> okay, I'll just literally two seconds quickly, worth. Quickly. When you're uh, packing, make sure to roll your clothes. Like roll, a lot of people yes. don't know to do that. Rolling is don't the way fold. to go. Roll everything, roll, especially roll. scarves. Ooh. You can save so, so much, much space. space. <laughs> so much space. When you roll your shit up. Yes. Um, and also check in online when you uh, yes. go on the flights. I know oh too many people God. who don't know how to do that still, and I'm like, are you, Listen, do you not online, have a phone? Online check-in is <laughs> the best thing that's Bless. ever been invented, okay? Because what this means <laughs> is that 24 hours before your flight, yes. you can check in, which means that you get, you if you do it like right in the beginning, like right at the 24 hours before, yeah. you probably can get a really good seat. Mm-hmm. Um, you get your boarding pass. You get your phone. boarding pass. And even if you have checked luggage, you get to skip the line because a lot of times airlines will have a, a line just for people who have already checked in and just have to drop off their bags. Yeah. So regardless if you're checking yeah. bag- baggage in or not, bo- do your online boarding all yeah. the time. Yeah, saves you so, so, yes. so, so much time and stress. Yes. All right. Okay, well, uh, we <laughs> talked for longer than, but you know what? I think we did okay. We went like maybe like 10-ish minutes more yeah. than we thought we, we were all, going we to. we got everything in there too, so it's so, all good. So no goodness. regrets, no regrets. Okay, <laughs> well, we always love talking to you guys. Uh, make sure to follow, subscribe, like, yeah. comment, rate, everything, all the things. Yeah. Review us on Review iTunes. us, yes. Please. iTunes is the podcast app. We're on there. We're on YouTube. We're on SoundCloud. Um, we have an Instagram page yeah. at Talkaholic Pod, and you know, l- reach out to us. What do you want us to talk about? Um, let's start a conversation. But until next time, we will talk to you guys later. Bye.